how many of these people down through the years have been touched by either the UFO abduction phenomenon or by the satanic abuse phenomenon or by the Freemasonic abuse phenomenon because it's all real. They have a common goal and they're, they're different avenues, but the, the enemy is using all of those for a common purpose. To create damaged, broken vessels that they believe cannot be saved. The devil has his own eschatology. He believes that if he can get enough people into his army, not just avowed Satanists, but all of these atheist people, all of these occult people, the Mormons, the Masons, you know, all these different false religions, to say nothing of, this, of Islam, all of these different religions, they are all potential puppets of the evil one, whether they know it or not. His end game is, yeah, sure, he wants to weaken the church. Because if the church is full of damaged people that are broken, that are frightened, they feel like, I can't ever talk about this. Because if I do, people are going to either think I need a psychiatrist, or they're going to think I'm weird, or I'll get thrown out of the church. And they forget what was said for centuries, which is that the church is a hospital for sick souls. But we've turned around, and when I say we, I mean the typical evangelical, you know, charismatic, whatever church, they've turned it into this triumphalist thing. That we all have to walk around as if we're walking on water, as if we have no problems. And you got to say praise the Lord on everything. And, you know, and so these people don't know where to go for help.